Through the night, the Churchills make steady progress towards Kayseri. Just as the gentle rhythm lulls them to sleep, they're about to have a rude awakening. You shouldn't be making um, this noise. It's worse on the other side. So it's definitely making a hell of a noise. It might just be an old steam engine banging and clanking, though. 30 miles down the line, when they finally reach Kayseri, they're able to investigate what's wrong. This must have disintegrated. It's gone, the far side. It looks like the white metal's gone. This is potentially a disastrous problem. Each of the Churchill's axles is surrounded by a white metal bearing that allows the axle to rotate smoothly. But on Chris and Andy's engine, one half of this bearing has fallen out. The axle has become unstable, causing the wheel to jump around. This bouncing wheel could easily derail the loco, dragging the whole train over. Obviously, somewhere in the early hours this morning, when we started moving again, that piece has just come out and we suspect it's actually laying in the track somewhere. So what we're going to go and do is look for the proverbial needle in the haystack, because now we're going to have to go and find it. If they fail to find the missing part, they may have to abandon the whole expedition. Anoraks don't do this sort of stuff. This is the man's world. <laughs> oh dear. Things we do for the love of steam engines. Confidence is high, ain't it, guys? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> The team is gambling that the bearing has fallen out where the axle was under the most stress. The most likely place is 30 miles back towards Sivas, where a series of curves climb up a steep incline. The search party will split up, with Chris and Mike heading east and Andy heading west on his own. We're just walking across the fields to the point where the, um, the locomotive started behaving badly, which is where we think it threw the brass. So we're going to make that our starting point. I'm pretty sure by the time we were on this one here, Mike, right. it was giving it some... Serious. Around this curve here? Yeah, serious. Right, OK. The formation's quite wide, quite clean, so even if it bounced out, we should be able to see it on either side as well. But this is where we expect to find it, in the forefoot. The trouble is, it could easily have bounced out left or right, down an embankment, if that's the case. It would be very, very difficult to find. After three hours of fruitless searching, Mike receives a call from Andy. Hello, Andy. I can't hear you very well, because we're blowing a gale up here. Where, where are you? Hello? Oh, well done, well done. All right, go up. Yeah! Found the beep thing. <laughs> we just spent two hours going the wrong way. Do this <laughs> 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 Oh dear, Brilliant. even Andy was getting excited. <laughs> Thanks, sweet <laughs> for that. <laughs> Sense of relief? Ah, oh, relief, we can't even put it into words. Fantastic. Total, total Fantastic. ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs>